have at me. <sighs> Just how long will you pretend to still be hidden? <laughs> I must say, I'm impressed. However, you don't seem to be whom we seek. I now understand how Miranda feels. She had mentioned how impure of intention those who intrude on the sacred lands of the East are. Yet, you do not seem in the least to be seeking the path of the samurai. What is your purpose? Depending on your answer. Oh, don't be so threatening. Despite our looks, we are quite faint of heart, you know. Anyway, where can I find the so-called Masters of the East? What business have you with the Masters? That's no concern of an underling like you. Come now. Show us the way already. If you keep wasting my time like this... What a fine opportunity to put my training to the test. Do your worst. <laughs> Feisty one, aren't you? <laughs> put her in her place. Would you look at that? All bark and no bite after all. <sighs> Feel like answering me now? Where might those masters of yours be? Huh. And just what do you plan to do with that information? You are? Varouche. You must be Ravies. Why do you know my name? I heard from Owen Seymour that a girl who's passionate, but not much else, arrived uninvited. Who? Who are you? And how about this young lady? Since you asked, I suppose I'll go ahead and introduce myself. The name's Lumeda. I'm with the Arms Dealers Guild. The Arms Dealers Guild is searching for the Masters of the East. How very keen of you! So, where are the Six Masters? I wonder if you might introduce me to them. Six? There are six of them? Could it be... Are you one of them too? Honored though I may be to be mistaken as such, I can't say that I am. I... I get the feeling that I have seen your face somewhere before. Who can say? Must have been someone else. I arrived in this land years ago and have been immersed in my training ever since. And without any masters. Oh, and Seymour are simply friends. I see. Now then. It's your turn, young lady. It's not a meeting with O and Seymour that you're after. It's their swords you're interested in, isn't it? Oh, there's no hiding anything from you, is there? I guess I'll just force the Master's whereabouts from you then. Oh, the strong one you are. Well then, tell me. 
What is the Arms Dealers Guild planning? Actually, tell me everything you know. I guess there's no other way around it. I'll talk. The guild, you see. It has a new leader. Right. I believe Garvel ended up taking things over. Oh, look at what you know. Even though you've been living in the middle of these mountains for years. My shinobi relays information from the mainland to me on the regular. Wait a minute. You have a shinobi? So what if I do? <sighs> Garvel ordered us to collect the six swords belonging to the Masters of the East. By whatever means necessary. Hmm. Why would he want the Master's swords? Lumeda, was it? Answer her. How would I know? All I did was receive orders from Garvel. Is that so? Turned out to be a fool's errand for you, though. There is no one left in this land who would be called Master. Not even one. What do you mean? You heard me. The whole lot of them crossed over to the mainland. <laughs> well, that's news to me. I mean, it's not as though they hide their names, but they also don't go around proclaiming themselves Masters of the East to anything that moves. And that's that. Which means your business here is finished. I take it you'll be heading back to the mainland now. Oh, thinking of seeing us off? Actually, what I'd like is passage on that ship of yours. What ship? Don't even try that on me. The reason I came down here in the first place is because I spotted that gigantic ship of yours. You plan to meet with Owen Seymour? O is no longer with us. He's dead. That... that cannot be. It's the truth. I wish to go pay my respects at his grave. What do you say? Hmm. All right, you may come with us. So this ship belongs to the guild? Ah, a handsome vessel indeed. They must be turning big profits. Who dares? <sighs> you! Hey now, be civil. Miss Lumeda, who are these two? They are not the masters of the East we seek. That's right. Just a couple of extra passengers. Wait, you cannot seriously intend to board a ship full of enemies like this? All right then, hold down the fort while I'm gone. So you're on board after all. Oh, was not my only master. Seymour trained me as well. Fair enough. Lumeda, tell me more about Garvel. You understand Garvel is our leader, right? I'm not asking you to spill his every last secret to me. I hear he's systematically killing off swordsmiths across the continent. Why would one do something like that? 
Without new weapons circulating, a weakening of the major powers of Ardra would become inevitable. Which, I suppose, means the Arms Dealers Guild is trying to become a nation itself. Neither of you would understand. This is... The wish of the Izog people, I suppose. You're aware of my background? I had a feeling that was where you hailed from. You... you are from Izog? If you wish to hold me in contempt, then go ahead. Scorn me all you like. I do not discriminate based on blood or birth. <laughs> I see land. The guild certainly has itself a fast ship. The mainland. It's good to be back. Thanks for the passage. Oh, don't sweat it. We're friends now, are we not? We'll be on our way then. Miss Lumeda. Go wake Lamega. He must still be fast asleep in the ship's hold. I'm awake. Where are those two headed? To O's grave, most likely. They must be feeling pressed not to let anyone else gain possession of O's sword. Devious as ever, Lameda. Well then, shall we prepare to depart as well? An abandoned castle? Apparently, it's known as Anvil Castle. Why are we here? You don't feel it? <sighs> the faint smell of lingering blood. Also, traces of a chaos of screams. Look at you. Seems your training in the East has done you well. It was here that, oh, that my master lost his life. <sighs> this is my master's grave. Yes. Yes, I am aware. Lumeda, and someone else. Meet my twin brother, Lumega. You make for excellent guides. Thanks to you, obtaining O's sword will have been a painless endeavor. You lowly wretches! No, oh, did you forget already? And to think we so kindly let you board our ship. And do you think that gives you the right to now do this? We will never let you have the sword. I've heard you two are a tough match. I won't be going easy on you. We'll give you what for.
<sighs> Forfeit already. If we continue like this... We'll fall back for now. However, you haven't seen the last of us. Don't forget it. <sighs> you were something else. Mind you, the way those two seem so unshaken is concerning. Explain yourself. In regards to what, exactly? You boarded that ship fully aware that those two would pursue us, did you not? You're not wrong. One misstep and O's sword could have fallen into their hands. You understand that, do you not? Are you suggesting I might lose? It is not outside the realm of possibility. Yes, it is. Unequivocally. <sighs> Those two likely think we are now in possession of O's sword. <sighs> you mean to say you led them here in order to prevent the desecration of O's grave? Exactly. Oh, sword. It's not here. And this is not his grave. Wait, what do you mean? This grave is designed to deceive those who are unfamiliar with the East. Under Eastern Convention, three stones are stacked in front of the grave before praying for the peaceful slumber of the deceased. Truly, there are no such stones to be found here. Right. But alas, what if the ones who laid O to rest were unfamiliar with the ways of the East? Well then, why don't we ask them ourselves? Who goes there? That would be our sentiment. You should be the ones explaining yourselves to us. If you answer incorrectly... Stand down! Queen Helena, we will handle this. She's right. We can deal with the likes of these two. No. As far as I've gathered, those two are from the East. Am I mistaken? You are not. The truth of it is. I see. I understand your situation. I will not stand for it. Trusting these miscreants so quickly is just... They are sure to be planning something nefarious. <laughs> Quite the vigilance you display. Still, it's better than promptly trusting the words of others. This is the sword O left behind. It is the disgrace of Leonis that an honored guest in our kingdom became embroiled in our war. But please tell me, what is it you and those two from before want with this sword? Are you familiar with Masachika, the legendary swordsmith? I have heard of him. Masachika sacrificed his own soul in order to forge the ultimate blade. However, fearing that it would be used for evil, he sealed away his crowning achievement. Where could he have hidden the blade? The clues to its location were inscribed on six different swords and entrusted to the masters of the East for protection. So if one were to gather all six of those swords... Yes. That's what the Arms Dealers Guild, those two from before, are after. In that case, you should be the one to carry this sword. Are you sure? My son Stern is currently being puppeted by Sodaly as a tool for slaughter. If he were to lay eyes on such a memento of oaths, whom he idolized as though he were his true father. I understand. When all is over with, 
I will be certain to return this blade to you. Thank you. So, this is Thunder Edge. I will track down the remaining five swords, whatever the cost. Forfeit already. If we continue like this... We'll fall back for now. However, you haven't seen the last of us. Don't forget it. <sighs> you were something else. Mind you, the way those two seemed so unshaken is concerning. Explain yourself. In regards to what, exactly? You boarded that ship fully aware that those two would pursue us, did you not? You're not wrong. One misstep and O's sword could have fallen into their hands. You understand that, do you not? Are you suggesting I might lose? It is not outside the realm of possibility. Yes, it is. Unequivocally. Those two likely think we are now in possession of O's sword. You mean to say you led them here in order to prevent the desecration of O's grave? Exactly. But O's sword... It's not here. And this is not his grave. Wait, what do you mean? This grave is designed to deceive those who are unfamiliar with the East. Under Eastern Convention, three stones are stacked in front of the grave before praying for the peaceful slumber of the deceased. Truly, there are no such stones to be found here. Right. But alas, what if the ones who laid O to rest were unfamiliar with the ways of the East? Well then, why don't we ask them ourselves? Who goes there? That would be our sentiment. You should be the ones explaining yourselves to us. If you answer incorrectly... Stand down! Queen Helena, we will handle this. She's right. We can deal with the likes of these two. No. As far as I have gathered, those two are from the East. Am I mistaken? You are not. The truth of it is... I see. I understand your situation. I will not stand for it! Trusting these miscreants so quickly is just... They are sure to be planning something nefarious. <laughs> Quite the vigilance you display. Still, it's better than promptly trusting the words of others. This is the sword O left behind. It is the disgrace of Leonis that an honored guest in our kingdom became embroiled in our war. But please tell me, what is it you and those two from before want with this sword? Are you familiar with Masachika, the legendary swordsmith? I have heard of him. Masachika sacrificed his own soul in order to forge the ultimate blade. 
However, fearing that it would be used for evil, he sealed away his crowning achievement. Where could he have hidden the blade? The clues to its location were inscribed on six different swords and entrusted to the masters of the East for protection. So if one were to gather all six of those swords... Yes. That's what the Arms Dealers Guild, those two from before, are after. In that case, you should be the one to carry this sword. Are you sure? My son Stern is currently being puppeted by Sodaly as a tool for slaughter. If he were to lay eyes on such a memento of O's, whom he idolized as though he were his true father... I understand. When all is over with, I will be certain to return this blade to you. Thank you. So, this is Thunder Edge. I will track down the remaining five swords, whatever the cost.